Hi, we look at the new feature of Java 18, the static web server. The purpose of this web server is educational only and absolutely not oriented to production environments. Please look at it as a toy only. I want to evaluate if we can use this Java web server to simplify our test workflow. For example, creating JSON answer to request from the web frontend. I usually use Node for this kind of tasks, but it is good to know that Java offer an alternative. We built here a super simple example. We created a folder with three files. One basic HTML file with only one line in the body, one Java class with a simple server instance, and a JSON file to test a, a GET request. First, we have to check that we are using at least Java 18. We check the version, and here we have Java 18 Early Access. Now we can start the web server using the command jwebserver. By default, it used the port 8000. We can change it with the parameter dash p. And now we go to look for our Chrome browser. We write the address of the local server with localhost 8000. And we can see our body content. It's hello Java. We try to update it. We add a 18 and we save our index.html. We refresh the browser and we see that it's automatically uh, updated. So there is no caching that is very good for our development intent. Now we try the JSON file. We write test.json and we have the answer that contains or JSON data. Thanks to the possibility to serve JSON data, we can use this small server in our development workflow. In particular, we can use it to test the front-end environment without implementing node servers. Now, we look quickly at the same implementation using Java code. Java 18 comes with this simple file server class that can be instantiated and started from the code. This can be useful for some automatic tests. Unfortunately, the server doesn't offer many other features and answer with an error to put and post requests. In conclusion, I think that this is a pretty nice new feature in Java 18 that can help us during our de development, in particular testing web frontends.